Is that yes. I just spilled yeah. coffee all over my pants. Uh, Guardian. Terrible spilled, weekend for the Guardian. I spilled coffee all See, over my pants. See, was it terrible because when before the series, before the road I trip, would have signed for three and three. You said three and three is a win. I know, and but I got greedy. They, were, they had won the first two. two. Also, but yesterday was disappointing. It was bad. But, it was a bad weekend because they scored seven runs in those yeah, four games. I know. And that's they the, didn't that's, hit it whole, and whole weekend. And you know what? Weekend. That's what's going to keep this team from making a deep playoff run if they even make the playoffs. Well, and again, all season long, they've been whoop. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's been high highs and low lows. Yeah. It's a young hopefully, team. Hopefully, you expect you with young teams. Hopefully, yeah. that will not. Uh, this will not turn into a long stretch of Look, bad. West play. Coast road trips are always the hardest. I even knew, though this we knew was that. only six games, we knew that. I, I'm saying take our. It's a tough home stand here too, though. Home. It's a tough Baltimore, home stand, Seattle. but they've got Baltimore and Seattle. And well, here's what's good about this. Yeah. Baltimore right now is ahead of. You see the Guardians leading the division, but there's a two game lead, and they've got five with Minnesota yeah. in a row in September. I, I think I like the fact that it's Baltimore and Seattle because I think they're a game behind Baltimore for in the wild card race, and they're a game and a half, I believe, behind uh, the Mariners. Yeah. So these are teams that you want to play. Well, if they win the division, they could very well end up playing the Mariners or the right, Orioles but, in the first but, round. But I'm also looking at the wild card division, ju- at the wild yeah. card race, yeah. just yes. in case, just in case. Right. But they I'm saying there's the two division. things. There's also hey, you may play this team in the playoffs. Yes, you're right. In you're the first round. Right. Yeah, you're right. So at, listen, the Mariners are a pretty good team. They're, they're on the West really Coast, so we don't no, pay I think, attention. I think they're underrated. They've got good pitching. They're like, like the Robbie Ray addition was big, big, huge. You know, the Luis Castillo in season acquisition was big. With Logan Gilbert's become a nice pitcher. They're built like the Guardians. Sound starting pitching and a terrific bullpen. Did I see that Rodriguez got paid too? Yeah. He got a yeah. huge extension. It's a crazy I couldn't contract. believe they did that already. Well, it goes back to the discussion we were having, guys. You, you were got here. to you got to lock these guys up now. You're, you're, you're not going to spend but, younger but 12 and younger years? And younger, yeah. yeah. Well, this I don't is, think it's it's not guaranteed twelve years. It's 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 really complicated. Some of the stuff I was reading, it depends on some of MVP voting and option pickups of what becomes but if, what. Right. If if they, this could end up being over four hundred million, but it, it only, could be like eighteen. It, years it would or only get that same. high if he was great. Right. Right. If he was great. Well, let's, well that's more this of a the pay way for the future, and that's yeah. the way contracts should be structured. Yeah. To some These degree. ten-year well, deals for guys. He's regardless. guaranteed a certain yeah, amount, but and and I'm okay for that. He he should be. But I love the idea of, in particularly in the later years of the contract, like if you look at what's going on in Detroit, as much as I dislike the Tigers, I've felt sorry for them for the last six or seven years, and it's only going to get worse next year if Miggy does indeed come back. Yeah. He's hamstrung them to the point where they're well, not even a Major League Baseball I team. I mean, they're so bad anyway. I don't know if that one contract alone kills well, them. Well, but... it's a big number that they yeah. could spend on other talent. Yeah. And then they misspent this offseason. Right. And it cost well, their general Well, they spent on Baez, and he was terrible this year. But he hasn't back, worked out. But, Jay, getting back to the Guardians, here's one real positive from what was overall a bad weekend. Quantrill pitched really well. He did. And... Yeah. I think he's clearly become their third best starter. Oh, yeah. And if you look at him over the last couple of months, oddly enough, he's pitched – his bad starts have all been against bad teams for whatever reason. Hmm. Maybe his last, it, his last – in three of his last five starts, he's pitched shutouts. Not nine-inning shutouts, but right. whatever. 20 scoreless innings. I can't remember the three teams exactly, but it's three playoff teams. And he's had two bad starts against, like, the Tigers and some other lousy yeah, teams. I wonder if it's focused. Very weird, but – I, right now, my top three I feel good about. I think, you know, please sack will be your fourth guy. I like using a fourth starter. I don't like the idea with all Bieber injuries. If they, I know they still got to make it, but if they make it with Bieber's injury history, recent injury history, I don't like him going on short days rest. I certainly, with, with McKenzie's body size, I don't want him going on three days rest. Yeah. So I think he's going to have to use a fourth starter if he gets to it. I think it's going to have to be please sack because Somali stinks. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that to me, that was the positive. I feel like Quantrill... Well, I, he's not obviously with Bieber and McKenzie, but I will, I, I, can, I trust him a little bit, at least. I'm still, I think a little for me, bit. the concern, the big concern is still the bats. Um, oh, sure. I know that I know they've, the had, they've had guys that have really um, increased their production. Yeah. But you've got to have more from catcher and center field. Yeah, Miles Straw yeah. stinks. Miles Straw, I, I got to tell you, oh, my Miles God. Straw, is, he started horribly. Then yeah. he had a stretch where he's like, like okay, three weeks. here he yeah. comes. Now, Guys, he looks completely lost yeah. at home plate right now. I don't get why they play him all. Like, at least a catcher, I get it. Okay? Yeah. A catcher, well, also, he manages the pitchers. I get it. Yeah. At center field, like, I know he's a good fielder, 
But everybody that plays center field is a good fielder. He's a great fielder. He's a great fielder. Above average fielder. Fine. But, like, there's plenty of above average fielders at center field. You know, I mean. You got to hit more than And unlike catcher, there's plenty of center fielders that can hit. Yeah, I, it's it's a big big. Steven Steven Kwan could win a Gold Glove in left field this year. He's like, why great. not? Why did Although they set he, the ball yesterday? Did he lose that in the sun? I didn't I see it. They, yeah, I, I didn't don't see it yesterday. So go go to the go to the positives. I know that, that we're off the West Coast trip. The positives are there's still two games up. Yeah, nowhere near did we ever think that the Guardians. No, would be in this no, but you know what? Right. Like the Bulls' point when they were four up. I thought, wow, they could come this, this, home six this, up. This is a team yeah. where I, 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 w- I wouldn't say they were getting six up. Here's a team that's played up and down. Yeah, and down all you. Just keep this, those bad streaks this, short. This, this is how it's going to be. Yeah. yeah. So now and if we're, this we're, is their bad streak, we're, we're, we're playing, we can live with we're that. We're playing in short tranches here. Yeah. The next series here, Baltimore. Let's go get this, right? You can't look down the line. This is not that kind of team. No, you It's can't. not built like that. Seven days to me will determine this division. September fifteenth to the twenty second. That's when they play the Twins for five. They got the Twins for five, and they got and the White, White Sox, Sox in, there in there too. too yeah. That week is really so you have to be in the hunt way. here till then, right? Yeah. Oh, they, they, well, they'll be in the hunt. I mean, they're, they're well, gonna, no, no, here we're up two here. You uh, that two three level? You can stay at that level here. Yeah. You get us to September fifteenth. Now we got a ball game. Yeah. But you're right. That is the week that it will matter. That will define who wins the division. Yeah. They got, you know, I would like to see the Guardians go to the minor leagues. You know, the, the rosters expand to 28. It does. Uh, you got Naylor down in the catcher. You got this kid Brennan, who's just been killing it in AAA. Let's I would like to see guy. them get some at bats. Bring him up, or bring. I don't know why they sent Nolan Jones down. I know he cooled well, off. He's at, really first. cooled off. I know they, that. They but want to play Nolan at first base. Well, because Oscar, gonna... Oscar Gonzalez has played so well in right field. Yeah, but let's play one of them in left, move Quan to center, and get get straw well, out of the that's lineup. Why I I, I'd Quan. be all for that. That's why yeah. I mentioned Quan. Yeah. I don't think they're going to do that this year. They've already paid Miles. Like, yeah, they're, they're on the hook for him now. So yeah, I don't but you, know. That, but you don't start him just because you paid him. I mean, he's on the team. Fine. I don't know and, when, and you're, the Guardians, when you're the Guardians. the Guardians, if, if wait, you know. from the day they've acquired Miles Straw, Tito's talked about what an elite center field. Oh my he is. God, he's I, and, you and have two you, zeros in your lineup every you game. That. I know. And, and why? By the way, why is Jimenez batting seventh in that game yesterday? Yeah, I didn't know that either. I didn't. Why is he I, batting so low in the lineup? I, I don't understand. I like him much higher. I don't know what he's doing down there either, uh, unless you're trying to add some punch to the bottom right. of the lineup, which we've seen teams do I, before. I, I don't take my – listen, he's been their second-best player, yes? Behind Ramirez? I think unquestionably. Yes. Yes. So, yes. how am I betting my, sec- betting my second-best player seven? I don't like it either. I, I don't understand, understand that. I, would, I don't know if Tito was asked about and it after the game. he's been hitting them low like six a lot. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand that. Yeah, I mean, I know some managers like to have some punch in the bottom of the lineup. When you're offensively challenged like the Guardians are, if you get through <laughs> their first four or five – now, all of a sudden, the pitcher's in cruise control for an inning and a right, half. Right, yeah. You know, so if you do stick a bat down there at six or seven, my problem with that is he has limited opportunities to drive in runs, right. typically. And, okay, so he does get a hit. Who's, who behind him is going to knock him in? Right. And when who, they get down, when they get past seven, and, and, there's nothing happening in and that And think lineup. about it from this perspective. If you hit him second or third or whatever and hit Ramirez fourth or, you know, like, how many at-bats are you costing him? How many plate appearances over, he's Over a game, if you're probably – Instead of the front half to the bottom half, yeah, plate and a half a game. Yeah. You're looking, yeah, you're looking yeah. at you know, on average, probably 200 yeah. bats for the year. I mean, it, it adds up. I, yeah. I, it I, I mean, I don't that's understand that. That's if you got a contract, you got incentives, and it adds up. And Straw's contract isn't that big. It's not like he's making no, a ton of money. No, it's for the Guardians. It's huge. It's, it, it's not that big. He's probably, he's probably the, the I think he's around second, five million. Second or third highest paid player on the team. I think he's around five million, four or five million a year, and and maybe this is a, an issue for next year. If Quan can slide into center, but I don't know if you want to mess with the Gold Glover and left. If he's really, I mean, he could win it. He's he's been terrific. Yeah, he has been field. very, very good, very good. And you know, it is a different position. You know, but I I think he, I think he could handle it from what I I've think seen. he could handle it. But he's not going to be the elite level that right. probably Straw is. making three million. Uh, he's making not making much this year. Three million next, then five, then six and a half, then seven and a half. Oh yeah. God! And for the Guardians, it's a lot of money. And then there's two options after that, which obviously at this point you yeah, can no, deal with Quan. Yeah, no, he can kiss those goodbye. Yeah. Uh, you got to hit more than 200 at oh, a big league God. level. You just, especially if you're a center fielder, even a catcher. But you, but you in the grand scheme field. of things, yes. Even though a bad weekend, still a lot more good than bad when right. it comes to the Guardians. Yeah, I think so. And yes. they got out of it with a split. You come home from a West yeah. Coast road trip, even if you're in a pennant race and you split. I think you take that. And I think the Orioles are coming back to earth, and their pitching is not very good. So hopefully yeah. they can hopefully take they get fat yeah. on the Orioles.